Aloha nui kako. My name is Kamaka Pahinui, the dark historian of the Pacific from Honolulu, Hawaii. Humanity has got the power. This message goes out to perpetrators of doubt. We are blossoming united, nature undivided, reaching to the sun like a heavenly. Welcome to Hawaiian Heartbreak, Her Story. This is my first video about the overthrow of Hawaii. Before every living creature on this earth is gone. All of the royal children lived incredibly tragic lives, but I'm going to start with Princess Pauahi because she had a lot of land and her husband was a Freemason that basically took all her money and land after she died. Princess Pauahi was the great-granddaughter of King Kamehameha I. She was betrothed to Prince Lot, whom eventually became King Kamehameha V. Princess Pauahi was the sister of Lydia Kamakaeha, Queen Liliuokalani. Princess Pauahi, her cousin Lot, and a dozen other royal kids, all cousins, went to the royal school started by missionaries Amos Starcook and his wife, Juliet Montague. Amos Starcook influenced, manipulated, Princess Pauahi to marry Charles Reed Bishop instead of Lot. She was 19, he was 29, and this was without the permission of her parents. Her parents were pretty pissed, and they did not come to the wedding. They were very high-ranking Hawaiian royals. Her father was High Chief Abner Paki, and her mother was High Chiefess Laura Konia. Alright guys, so you would think that a princess of such high rank would have this amazing wedding. No, no. Instead of a wedding fit for a princess, Bernice Pauahi Paki, age 19, and grown man Charles Reed Bishop, age 29, were married at her school. Conveniently, there's no photos of the original school or the inside. At least, I can't find any. These guys were hardcore Puritan Protestants, so I highly doubt that the kids had, you know, this lavishly decorated interior. It was probably pretty barren and plain. Call me crazy, but it seems to me like this school was basically just a prison for these kids. The walls were 10 feet high and 2 feet thick made of adobe. They were not allowed to play with the kids from outside the school. And the other kids would climb up and look over the wall and try to talk to the kids inside of the royal school. I think there was like over 20 kids and a half dozen adults because you had the royal kids, you had all the missionaries' kids, and a few other caregivers. And then what you see here in the middle is a courtyard. Only six by six square feet of that had grass right in the middle. The rest of it all around the center was a lanai, a porch. And then in the six by six square foot patch of grass was a water well. So it really was like a self-enclosed prison. So in 1839, King Kamehameha III requested an English teacher for all the royal kids. He knew that they were going to have to compete with the rest of the world, so they needed to be trained in Western knowledge and ways. They're stealing all our lives, gangsters in our paradise. They're stealing all our lives, gangsters in our paradise. They're stealing all our lives, gangsters in our paradise. They're stealing all our lives, gangsters in our paradise. So the school opened in 1840. This is important. All 16 kids enrolled in the Royal Children's School died young, tragically, and had no surviving children. The chances of that happening are literally impossible. 
So in order to understand the overthrow of Hawaii, you must know world history. The history of the colonizers goes back far beyond the 1400s, but we're going to rewind to the 1400s, the era of the Christopher Columbus pirates, the Habsburgs, whom were the emperors of the Holy Roman Empire at that time. And the Habsburgs had a motto. It was war by marriage. Before every living creature on this earth is gone No one can take away your free will This illusion runs deep But love and life go deeper The old way is coming to a standstill There's no stopping evolution of consciousness